Uh, this is the first song that I wrote for the album. This was like two years ago, which is crazy to say that. I just knew it was something that I wanted to say. I just, you know, I just, I just felt compelled. And I didn't even really still know like about the whole concept of the album yet. I mean, I had this idea in my mind, but this is just something I really, I really needed to say. this specific song, I'm letting it be known that I have experienced racism from both ends and because of that it sucks and it hurts, but I am here to say that we're all people and we all are treated fucked up. And I'm like, you know, I, I want to be there to, to say something for uh, people and just the biracial community as well. That's it. Okay, I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Sit the fuck back down. Seem like everybody nowadays, Hollywood. Oh, it's like that now? I'm going to show you motherfuckers how to act now. I'm going to show them how to act. I'm gonna show you, show you, show you. I'm gonna show them how to act. To me, in my mind, that the opening line, I already knew that this was gonna be the first song that people were gonna hear for my next album. So I knew that, like, what a fucking gangsta ass. Like, the first thing you hear from me since my last album is okay, I was gone for a minute, but I'm back now. Sit the fuck back down. That's like real. Like, I, lo I just love, like, I'm just a very positive, peaceful dude, and I like my music to speak for me. So I was like, yeah, motherfuckers, everybody wanna act like this or that. I ain't here to on some fucking, this ain't no fashion show for me. This ain't about jewelry. This ain't about none of that shit. And that's fine. That's a lifestyle. I respect it. That's dope, whatever. I'm here for the raps, motherfucker. I'm here to change lives. I'm here for the message. And if you ain't with it, we'll fuck you then. Okay, now picture little Bobby just a young and running around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man. Run, motherfucker, run for the po-po, get the gun, put it to your brain like goddamn. Yeah, that's just me running around with guns and knives and doing dumbass shit, you know? Because people look at me and they're like, oh, you fucking white boy, are you this? Or you never experienced this or that, or, you know, and I, and I talk about this in other records too, but like being from Gaithersburg, Maryland and this and that, but like, man, I was, you know, sex and a household. I had killers and murderers in my fucking home, drug dealers, all this shit. I've, I've held guns, walked around with guns, ran around with guns, shot off guns, you know what I mean? And thank God I never taken nobody's life. I'm almost like just talking to my younger self. I'm like, run, like run away from this life, motherfucker, before you know, before you, you, you end up dead or shot or in jail or this or that, you know? Everybody know you ain't about it. Everything you talk about, blah, 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 I know I can live without it. So everything you talk about, blah, 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 I know I can live without it. It was just like, oh shit, like you're just, the way you're hit with the, my word bout and then I go into Pro Tools because I, you know, I engineer a lot of my shit myself. So I go in, I mean, my boy Bobby like mixes everything, but I go in and I look at that line. Okay, everything you talk about, and that's, there's also a drum there, so then I take I take my bout and then I go up and I look at the entire beat and I copy over the beat and I du duplicate it four times. Everything you talk about, bout, 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 and then I rip and then right after that is I know I can live without it. So it's just something that seems effortless and kind of hits you and knocks you on your ass. Red light stop, green light go. Everything ain't what it seemed like, motherfucker. I know. Hold up, what you mean? Where you been, bitch? I've been in. This is merely the beginning again. What you been living in? A rock under the bridge like Anthony Kiedis looking for something to complete us and maybe lead us. Fucking the lead us. Hell of a long way from equal is how they treat us. Body of a builder with the mind of a fetus turn on the television and see the vision they feed us and I wish I could erase that face facts hell of a long way from equal is how they treat us body of a builder with the mind of a fetus to me it's just like the nation our government you know how we're made to feel as people so they're like these big strong but they're like their minds are so small they're only focused on money and this and not everybody I mean you know it's like politics ain't all bad there's really people there who want to like help and change and, and make shit different but for the fucking most part it's just all about money so body of a builder with the mind of a fetus so-and-so got killed so-and-so got shot, so-and-so got this. And that's the vision that they're feeding us. They're, they're, they're keeping us in fear and it sucks. Everybody people, everybody bleed, everybody needs something, everybody love, everybody know how it go. The hook is just about unity, you know what I mean? I think we live in an era where somebody could, just some ignorant motherfucker could be like, what is this all lives matter shit? And it's like, fuck you mean dog like chill out with it like this is everybody is beautiful and i'm just here to say that everybody has experiences everybody has highs and lows and this and that and like i'm here to shed light on what need be said you know and i'll, I'll pick up the flag and wave it of, of, of anybody who who is in uh in despair or, or in need of help or a voice that's real shit like straight up 100 million trillion percent you know I've been knocking doors down like a Jehovah Witness. God is my witness, I'm witness, but on the real, I think I need another witness. If it was 1717, black daddy, white mama wouldn't change a thing. Light skinned motherfucker certified as a house nigga. Well, I'll be goddamn, go figure. Yeah, if it was 1717, black daddy, white mama wouldn't change a thing. It's like, yo, I would still get it. You know what I mean? I would still, you know, and then even going in, uh, uh, light skinned motherfucker certified as a house nigga. Like, yeah, they want to keep me in, inside or this or that, because I'm, you know, I'm a light skinned boy. I'm a this, like, man, like, it, I would still 
Then or now, like motherfuckers was persecuted for being black or white, wasn't accepted by one side or the other side or both sides, didn't know where to fit in, when to fit in, how to fit in. And it's like, that's how I feel today. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't give a fuck where I am or who I'm around. I, I let everybody know that I'm proud to be me. I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be this, whatever the case. And I've had, you know, I've had white people treat me like shit and be like, fuck you, you nigger and you this and you that. I've heard these things from people. And I could have just sat on in with Massa and been like, oh yeah, I'm white. That's all good. Don't worry. Fuck that. Are you kidding me? No. In my blood is the slave and the master. That's like the devil playing spades with the pastor. But he was born with the white privilege. Man, what the fuck is that? White people told me as a child, as a little boy, playing with his toys, I should be ashamed to be black. And some black people look ashamed when I rap, like my great granddaddy didn't take a whip to the back. It's crazy. Think about it. you know people saying however they, whatever they want to say racially about me or this or that. But at the end of the day, I have to look in in the in the mirror and see see the man that I do and know that in my bloodline and in my lineage was the slave and the master. And that's, that's what made me, that's what created me. And it's kind of fucked up to think about that. Um, but I'm not ashamed of who I am. But one thing I wanna say, and I really wanna shed light on this, is when I say, uh, you know, but he was born with the white privilege, man, what the fuck is that? I obviously know what white privilege is. I'm not a fucking idiot. I, I don't know what it's like to walk down the street as a dark-skinned black man without, a, without question. I do not know and understand what that is. And I'm not saying that the things that I've gone through are any less or more important than that. What I'm saying is I'm just telling my story and letting it be known that like, you know, people could be like, oh, you got a head or you get a head or you get this or you get that. Like, I'm a biracial person who looks white in a black man's rap game who is not accepted by many parts of the culture because of how I look. I don't know, maybe life would have been easier for me if I became a fucking accountant or something, but I didn't do that and I faced diversity and I said, fuck that, I'm gonna go do this because I'm proud of that. Not accepted by the black or the white, I don't give a fuck, praise God, I can see the light. Everybody talking about race this, race that, I wish I could erase that, face facts. It's not really about my family because my family, they treated, I didn't know, I didn't know, I, you know what I mean? It's like I didn't know there was an there was an issue because there wasn't an issue. Like you know, my brothers and sisters, there was an issue with my mother and things like that. But like, like my brothers and sisters, they treated me like I was just their brother. You know, somebody that they loved and cared about. So there wasn't an issue there. It wasn't until I went out into the world and they were like, "Oh, you're this, you're that." And then, but even just to really paint this picture, because I want it to be understood, like when I experience racism from white folk or black folk. It's not white folk or black folk. It's just a sect of that black community or white community that themselves are fucking racist. Black people are fucking awesome. White people are awesome. Like these are just races, and those negative people do not. Um, they do not represent an entire race, just like a suicide bomber does not represent the Muslim community or the. You know what I mean? That's bullshit. So I just wanted to 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 be stated that when I say not accepted by the black or the white, I mean that figuratively um, on a much lower scale than what it really can sometimes feel like because of, you know, this just the media or being in hip hop and looking the way I do. That's it.